and by complete accident, the fellow in the room next to me was William Miller. I said to him, look, I've come to do my PhD here on motivational interviewing, not in addiction, but in healthcare. And so I said, look, I think you should write a book. And I wasn't thinking of myself, and he said, well, do you want to do it with me? Right from the beginning, I said to Miller, let's not create a theory. Let's not have a theory of motivation. There's one now, please. MI is based in a very, very, on a very, very solid platform of Rogerian counseling. Right. Okay. However, those skills are used purposefully to steer the conversation in the direction of positive change. If you, if you think about the phrase behavior change, there's hardly an area of healthcare where practitioners don't struggle with this. So whatever domain of helping you're in, and that's right outside of psychotherapy and counseling as well. Uncertainty about change is very common. Healthcare, right. primary healthcare, general practice, hospital healthcare, criminal justice, where practitioners in that field, from probation officers to police officers, encounter situations where they are discussing change with people. There's a good call for humility, actually. There's right. a lot to learn. There's right. a lot more to learn about this. Okay, and I would uh, be the last person to say I know it all, and I would appeal to people who reckon they knew what MI was 10 years ago to take a similar curious attitude and come and learn and see how they can improve their conversations about change.